We think of thoughts as these pure, weightless things, like bubbles floating into awareness from some magical spring. But that poetic idea is a trap. It makes the most real thing in your life feel completely unreal. A thought is not a ghost. It's a physical event. It's a lightning storm in a three-pound universe of flesh. Picture this, your brain is a dark, silent forest of 86 billion trees. These are your neurons. They don't touch. A thought is the moment a specific path through that forest suddenly lights up. One tree sparks, and the fire jumps across a tiny gap to the next, and the next along a trail that has been worn by your entire life. That jumping spark is electricity. That gap is chemistry. That specific path? That's the thought. It's not magic. It's a chain reaction. You can feel it. That moment of frustration when a word is on the tip of your tongue? That's your brain desperately trying to fire down a faint, overgrown path to find it. The flash of insight in the shower? That's a random spark jumping a gap it's never crossed before. Connecting two distant parts of the forest for the first time, so when you say, I just had a thought, you're wrong, you didn't have it, you built it. Or more accurately, a trillion microscopic workers in your head followed a blueprint made of your memories, your fears and your dreams and constructed it in milliseconds. This changes everything. It means your mind isn't a sanctuary. It's a construction site and you're both the architect and the storm happening inside it. Stop waiting for thoughts to arrive. Start tending to the forest. The paths you walk most become highways. The sparks you follow most become storms. Your next idea isn't out there. It's a pattern waiting to be forged in the dark. If you want to understand more about building your inner world, subscribe. We map the wilderness of the mind.